This is our Google business listing for our company and everything started with this. This guy right here, Thomas Woodman, dropping us one star review, no transparency, just excuses and zero results. Now, keep in mind, there is nobody that we've ever worked with named Thomas Woodman and nobody in the last six months has had any bad experience with our company. My team alerted me this evening and told me that this review looks very suspicious and that is true. Right now, when you Google Orlando SEO agency, that's the top search key term, we come up number one. When you search for Orlando SEO company, we also come up number one in the local packs. Right from the get-go, I do smell two things. One, competition trying to attack our Google listing to hope that Google will suspend our listing or make it harder for us because we can just verify everything with Google and then they reinstate the listing. It just minor roadblock and creates inconvenience. I've seen that happen a lot, competitors using these kind of tactics. And number two is overseas scammers who understand that businesses rely on Google reviews to do business with other businesses and they come in and spam the Google listings like this and then later they text you on an email, hey, I'll remove this review if you pay me $50 a review or they try to extort you for more. I personally haven't experienced that but I know some of my clients that we've been managing their Google business profiles have. I literally stepped out for a few minutes and I'm getting bombarded by the Gmail notifications that I'm getting more and more reviews. I look on here and I notice that my star rating went from 4.9 stars all the way down to 4.3 stars. This is happening right now in a live action. This guy dropped me a total of five negative reviews on here. Here's how we know this is an organized uh, scam here because these guys in the review say, see my profile, contact me. And then when you click on their profile, what you will see that they have their WhatsApp number as a profile photo that you need to text and then they will uh, remove these, they'll work out a deal with you, which is ridiculous. Google's been very proactive about these kind of scams and obviously this is not a natural pattern on how customers interact with this particular Google business profile and every profile has their own particular patterns and Google recognize those patterns and if those patterns are disrupted, then filters get triggered. So there is some good news for the business owners, but it is just the unfortunate situation. It's like pirates attacking you and extorting you. Now, they probably try to do with more accounts, but Google does have some kind of a, a filter system. So when they see that, hey, usual activity here is like getting a review maybe every few days, all of a the sudden them getting so many reviews in the same day, that doesn't sound like a normal behavior. So some reviews, they will automatically flag and not allow to publish. But this guy looks like he was able to get through five reviews right away because we do have a lot of Google business profile activity. This can happen to anybody's business and it is unfortunate. But I wanna use this as an example as this is happening to me right now, to my company and show you guys exactly what to do. In this particular case, we do not have to respond to all five reviews. But the first one that I got, I literally responded with, hi there, we have no record of ever working with you, speaking with you, or having any interaction whatsoever. If you believe you've confused us with another company, we suggest correcting your mistake. Leaving a one-star review with a vague accusations like no transparency, um, just excuses and zero results, when you've never been a client, is not only false, but misleading to others who rely on honest reviews to make decisions. Our team takes pride in delivering real results with full transparency as proven by the positive experiences of our actual clients. If anyone has questions or would like to reference from real businesses we've helped grow, feel free to contact us directly. Just by responding to the negative reviews like this, you do three main things. Number one, you establish professionalism at signals maturity and confidence. It establishes credibility. It backs your claim with the real proof. Lastly, you establish reputational defense. It puts the burden of proof on the reviewer while expanding trust to anyone reading reviews in the meantime. It also shifts the energy from defensive to offensive position. So you position yourself as a real deal 
and the reviewer as the noise. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna come over here and click the three dots. I'm on the desktop here, on a mobile might be a little bit different, but three dots should be accessible from the mobile as well and click report review. Here you'll be given a multiple different choices to choose from, but from my experience, the most powerful way to get these removed would be reporting them for spam. That would be fake or deceptive right here. In this case, since the reviewer was never a customer and you're basically reporting it from an actual Google business profile as an owner account, you're basically telling Google review is from a bot, a fake account or contains some sort of an ads or promotions, which can be true in most of the cases. You know why the spam is the best choice here? Because Google treats fake reviews from unrelated individuals as a spam already. So even if they don't contain links or promotions, Google will treat that as a spam. If the reviewer had no legitimate interaction with your business at all, they fall under a fake or deceptive content category, which Google includes under its spam and fake content policy. Google does take about three business days to get back to you after you have reported all your reviews. If you're still struggling with the reviews and you waited more than three days and you haven't seen any progress, there is another light at the end of the tunnel. All the way on the bottom here, you can click come back here and report a legal issue. Now, the reason this is a good idea also for much more stronger results is regular spam reports go through something called automated review filters that Google has. And, you know, legal compliance go to the human reviewers trained to deal with abuse, impersonations, uh, defamation, and violations of consumer protection laws. When you submit it this way, you're basically creating a legal record. You're officially stating that these reviews are false, harmful, and damaging, which can push Google to act much faster and more cautiously because legal compliance really do force Google to reconsider reviews under legal obligations, not just the policy violations. So this is especially useful if your business is being attacked by a bad actor. Here, you just follow through the steps and Google gets on it pretty much right away. Make sure to include the reviewer's link of that particular review that you're reporting so everything is part of your report. It's been two days exactly ever since we submitted and flagged those reviews and take a look at this. We are back to where we were without scammers negative reviews trying to extort us. So Google does pretty good job on filtering these things out and also like a behavioral signals. I mean, all of them happen all at once, but you just gotta have patience with it. Sometimes I've seen uh, review removal take uh, more than three days, like 10, I've seen it take almost a month. Um, so you just gotta be patient with it, but as long as you follow through the steps and you're actually able to um, do what I just showed you to do, uh, Google will take care of it. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you guys and let me know your struggles and how you overcome them in the comment section below. Or if you have any questions or you get stuck somewhere or you need help, just let me know and I'll try my best to get to everybody.